Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah. I'm a part-time reseller. I sell on sites like Poshmark, eBay, Macari, Facebook Marketplace, and a few others. And today I am one lucky lady. I get to grab a lunch at Taco Bell and take my time at the Goodwill outlet. Um, my husband is getting ready to bail on me for about three weeks for a work trip. So sourcing will be limited to the time the kids are in school. Um, it is about quarter to 12 at the moment, so I'm hoping to spend a good two, three hours and stock up clothing to resell online, and then I'm going to look for clothing to sell co to consignment stores today. That actually helps as another stream of income, and I'm not able to film in my Goodwill outlet, but wanted to let you guys know what I'm up to, and we'll be sharing a haul here after a little bit, let's see what I can find at the Goodwill Outlet. If you don't know what that is, it's where you pay for things by the pound. Clothing, shoes, home goods, all of it. They put them in these big blue bins and you have to dig and dig and dig for a couple of hours. But you can find some really good stuff for like a dollar a piece. Um, so it's a good way to get lots of inventory in a short amount of time and not have to worry so much about what it costs. Because like I said, everything usually averages out to a dollar or less. So here we go. I'll catch you guys here in a little bit. I'm going to eat my lunch and then head on out. All right, I made it home. We have had dinner. I have had a chance to get my stuff out of some of the bags. And I do have it separated this time, so everything that you're going to see first are items that I will be listing myself online for sale on Poshmark, eBay, Macari, Facebook Marketplace, Depop, and even a Kitizen item, which is what I'm going to show you first. And sorry if the table is a little shaky, I couldn't find my stool to set things on. Okay, so first up, this item will be going on Kitizen. It is a little boy shirt. 11 to 12 years old, and it's by the brand Mini Bowden. It's really good condition, super cute. Let's not try to say super cute at every item. All right, next up, who doesn't love a good squirt? And this is by Nike Golf. These usually sell between 20 and 25. But being that I got these at the Goodwill Outlet and spent only $40 today on everything you're going to see, I'd be willing to take offers. So, All right, next up is a sports bra. Nice crisscross back. This F right here is for the brand Fabletics. This will probably sell between $15 to $20, I would say, as well. Found a men's item. Got a couple men's items today. A pair of khaki shorts. The reason I pick these up though, even though they're a little older style, these are men's size 34. They're Tommy Bahama, and I pick them up because they are a silk blend. So Tommy Bahama men's silk blend short. I figure some old guy on the beach. We'll probably want to wear these where it's hot. All right, and this item I'm really excited about. This is a adjustable sports bra. And it is by a brand called She Fit. What it is, is it has these Velcro straps here that you can pull and then pull around as well. This is a size... 2x is moisture wicking fabric the last time i had one of these it was in black and i listed it for 50 dollars. i had so many likes and it finally sold for 35 dollars. so this item one little bra wow well, <laughs> we'll probably pay for the whole haul but i was familiar with that brand it should do well next up another pair of athletic shorts cargo shorts this is by the brand Athleta in a size four. Again, another $15 to $20 item. Another kids item going on Kitizen is this long sleeve top. And this is by the brand Spider in a size four. 
I almost said it. Super cute. Then I found this red fuzz, just a fuzz. This light pink skirt zips up the back. Found this at the bottom of a bin. This is a free people skirt in a size 10. Probably 20 to 25 on that. And then this item is the one I'm pretty pumped about. I have heard that these are doing very well on Depop. I found... Please don't mess the zipper up. Please don't mess the zipper up. All right. A vintage Dooney and Burke leather bag. Very good condition. Look at the zipper. It's multicolor. It still has a little charm. Yeah, I'm putting this on Depop and all of my eBay, Poshmark, all of my platforms, except for Facebook and Kidizen. So, yeah, I'm excited about this. Hoping to list this around 60. Don't quote me on that, but we'll try. Let's go through these items. This is a new to me brand. But I like the color of these pants and they're kind of like a balloon, like a wide leg. The brand is Asuka. Anyone ever heard of this? Comment down below if you have. I looked online and these retail for over $200. So at the Goodwill Outlet, I thought I would take a chance and list those myself. Next up, this is a base layer top, size medium. I'm going to guess women's. And this is by the brand Marmo or Marmot. Not sure how you say that, but it's what we're going with. Then I found this very cute flowy peplum tank top. This is a size 4X by the brand Torrid. Buttons up the back. All of these are buttons. Okay, next up. I have not found a pair of these in a long time. I found a pair of beta brand pants in a medium petite size, size color in gray. Basically, these are like yoga pants for work. <laughs> they sell very well, even in a petite. So I did pick those up. Then I found this piece that needs to be steamed really bad. It's a sleeveless linen dress by Eileen Fisher in a size large. Looked it over, I don't see any marks or condition issues. So I just need to clean that up. Then I found pair of J. Crew jeans in a size 29. These are the slim boyfriend jeans, so not a skinny jean, and they came out in spring of 2021, which is why I picked these up. So yeah. I'm trying to pick up more boyfriend wide leg and anything that could be considered a bell bottom literally flies out of my Poshmark closet. Alright, next up this I believe to be men's it needs to be lint rolled this is a what is this called a Henley long sleeve top by the brand spider it has a big logo down here this is another like outdoor brand so it does pretty well then I found a pair of scrub bottoms I mean, I actually did find some pretty good brands today. These are by the brand Figs. These also sell very quickly for me. The question I want to know, because before I hung all these up, I took all the tags off. These were all store pulls, so I want to know what store are these being donated to, because I'd like to buy them before they make it to the Goodwill Outlet, and I don't have to hurt my back digging through bins all day. So I may have to play around with some of the Goodwills near the bins in that location. I haven't done that yet, so that might be a goal for this year. All right, next I found this very vibrant t-shirt with these bobbles. It is a size large by Lily Pulitzer. Because it's a larger size, this should do well. And last up on the items I'm gonna sell myself is of course another athletic top. I really like this ruched sleeves on this. And this is by the brand Fabletics as well, size medium. So, 
So that is everything I picked up to sell myself. I definitely think I'll make over $40 on that. Now let me show you what I picked up for consignment at Once Upon a Child, Play-Doh's Closet, and Clothes Mentor. Okay, I forgot this item, which actually worked really well. I want to try using this when I go to the thrift store to cut out on plastic bags. <laughs> Okay, I am literally obsessed with chickens. We played the chicken game during Janine, as some people call it on YouTube, during the Rona. Uh, we got bored and got chickens. And then, stupidly, I gave them away because we were traveling so much in the new camper that we bought and everything, and now I want chickens back. And I'm obsessed. I've been looking to like decorate my kitchen with the farmhouse chicken vibes. And I found a bag by Rural King today. And it says, what's, ha what's hatching out here? And it had chickens on it. And when I got to the checkout, like I was just going to buy it. <laughs> to buy it. And the lady's like, would you like a plastic bag? I don't think everything's going to fit in here. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's such a good idea. So this is now my thrifting bag. Okay. Listen up, mother cluckers. <laughs> I saw a sign on Goodwill the other day that had that. So, yeah. Oh, tractor supply, not Roll King. New bag for chickens. Love it. So, if I did buy that, it didn't cost me hardly anything. All right, here are items that I'm going to try to consign. This is another Squirt by Nike Dry Fit. It is in an extra large. Let's see if they take it my piles down here an extra small pair of Nike shorts this is what is this Uniqlo ah focus cute little top again these are all store poles I don't know if this is a shirt or a skirt but it's by Urban, ah, Urban Romantics. Is that affiliated with Urban Outfitters? Anybody know? All right, then I found, ay, ay, ay. should have taken all the tags off before I filmed. That's okay. You guys don't mind, do you? We're all hanging out, we're working. Looking forward to the weekend. This is an H&M top. I got it because it had the heart on it for Valentine's, like a boxy cropped top this is a speckles women's adidas top workout top this is the brand Knox rose now if this had been an extra larger above i would have kept it otherwise close mentor tends to buy this brand so it's kind of a boho style Take that. This I think is really cute. But I have no luck selling this brand. This is a Zara shirt. Man. Zara. But I just, I liked it. Initially I thought this would do well in Depop, but I'm going to try to sell it at consignment instead. Oh, I feel a sneeze coming on. This is a cute blouse. This is another Knox Rose. Size medium. They have such cute stuff, even for just being at like, what is it, Target? This is another store pool. This is a button front blouse, tunic kind of thing, but I picked it up because I saw this cool embroidery stuff on the back. It is just, it's Maurice's Premium. I've never seen that tag before, so we'll see if they take that. All right, we got a kid's Nike top. This was in Home Goods in a bag. Looking bags, looking boxes. This is new with tags Carter's. Retail for twenty six dollars. I wonder if this was an outfit though. Little boy shirt. That's for my son. I need some long sleeve shirt. 
another Nike extra small pair of white shorts this time. A sports bra. This is Nike and it's an extra large. This is really cute kind of bobble like the sleeves. It reminds me of like Fenton glassware. <laughs> but this is the brand W5, which I think is anthropology. We'll see. None, you guys. This is new with tags. It's silly, but I couldn't help it. Ever make mistakes in life? <laughs> Let's make them birds. Yep, they're birds now. New with tags. It's actually a men's shirt. Thought it was funny. Play-Dohs will probably buy that. They bought my Bob Ross trucker hat that I took the last time, so we'll see. This is a universal thread, which I think is also Target, but I picked this up for the eh, style. It's similar to Knox Rose. Okay, we got another, yep, another long sleeve for my kid. That's the best thing about the bins, it's finding stuff for ourselves. Every time I get home, they're like, did you find me anything? Found him a bunch of shirts today, but nobody else. This is a Carter's Little Kid Top. I picked up mostly spring. Whoops. Oops. Mostly spring. What size is this? This is a nine month. I might list this myself. Only because it's new with tags. This is Carter's. And it's a little jogger set. Has bears on it. It's really cute. Um, retails for twenty six dollars. So that other one must have been a set, but I didn't find the pants. So maybe I list that myself. I'm almost sold out of everything on my kid is in closet, which is great. All right, pick this kid's item up. This is Cat and Jack. I'm looking ahead of season. This is a brand called Mustard Pie, little pair of bloomers, I guess you would call them. I think that's similar to um, the Hannah Anderson, that's what it is, yeah. These are pajamas, pajama set, Carter size 12, doesn't fit my kids, so. All right. We got a Nike dry fit tee. Oh, I'm dropping stuff. I heard a mom, they're coming for me. Here we are. H&M, 4th of July is coming. Cute little pair of leggings. I think most of this left is kids clothes, so bear with me. I try to pick up name brand as much as I can. There's a kid's Columbia shirt. This is Children's Place, size 12. Button fly, super skinny jeans, but I liked it because it had a raw hem on the bottom. Not nearly enough today to make a run to consignment, but that's fine. Another H&M little girl's dress. This would be cute for Valentine's, which is why I picked it up. This is the children's place, but look how cute, right? For Valentine's Day, cute. All right, uh, kids Adidas shirt. This is this is Old Navy, a little denim dress. Cat and Jack jeans, size 5T. 
This is Lance, and I picked this up because I bet it could be used for kids that need to wear uniforms to school. I assume that's what that is. A couple more items. All right, we got a pair of Cat and Jack shorts. This is a cute dress. This is this is Wonder Nation, which I think is just Walmart, but it's really cute. Got a smocked back. And last but not least is a pair of Carter's little shorts. So quite a few items. I'm sure I got more than 40 items here, which makes everything less than a dollar. But for my cost of goods, I just put out a dollar on everything that I'm going to list myself. So hope you guys enjoyed my Goodwill Outlet haul today. Make sure you like and subscribe. Leave your comments down below. It continues to help build my channel. I appreciate you guys so much. And thank you for watching. Catch you guys next time. See ya.